Hey guys, what's going on? MassGFX here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your very own planet. Now, this can be a really neat tutorial because there are a lot of these videos up already, but they generally seem to be around the same effect. So I'm going to show you guys how to stake, take it a step further and actually make it look like it's a legit planet. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. The first thing I'm going to do is bring up a new document, so I'm going to control N. I'm using the width and height of 1600 by 900. Now, the dimensions you choose are all personal preference, so we can click OK on that. First thing we want to do is bring up a new layer, and then we can go ahead and delete this background layer because we're not going to be using it. Next thing we want to do is head over to our gradient tool. I'm going to be using the gradient of radial. For my colors, I'm going to be selecting a dark shade of gray fading out to a black. Next thing we want to do is head to the center of our document, we'll hold down our shift key, and then we're going to drag out and then let go. And that's going to be our basic backdrop. Now we're going to go ahead and create our rough outline of our planet. So again, we're creating another new layer. We'll head over to our elliptical marquee tool. And what we're going to do is hold down our shift key, and then we're going to drag and draw a nice big shape here. And you want to make sure it's a pretty decent size. And then we're going to head over and drag it over to the top right hand of our screen. Now you want to make sure you have enough room so that you have top on, a room on the top and room on the right, and also some room in the right hand corner. From here, we're going to head over to our brush tool. Go into our B key, go into right click. I'm using a soft edge brush with the size of 19. I'm make sure my foreground color is set to white. And then we can head back to our elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to right click, head over to stroke. And then we're going to have my width at 5 with my color at white. Location on the outside with our blend mode of normal and our opacity of 100%. And we can click OK on that. Now, the next thing we want to do is we can deselect this. And then we're going to bring up our eraser tool, making sure it's selected on a soft edge brush in a generally large size. Now what we're going to do from here is erase away some of these edgings here, and we're going to get a really rough outline of our planet because what we're going to do is add a lens flare at the end, and it will make it look like it's illuminated just from this side, giving it a really nice uh, realistic effect. Let's go ahead and gently erase away some of these edges here. And just I want to go ahead and clarify, there is no right or wrong way to do this, so don't worry about if yours looks exactly like mine or not. Your general look at you're going for is a nice crest here. Now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and fill this in and add it, um, add some textures to it. So again, create another new layer. Head back to your elliptical marquee tool. And again, I'm going to draw a circle here. I'm going to try and get it about the same size as before. And go ahead and drag it over and place it uh, about on the inside of it. From here, we're going to head over to our gradient tool again. We're going to make sure it's selected on radial and our darker shade of gradient. Go ahead and draw out a really nice uh, color here. And then we're going to create another new layer and do the same effect, like so. Now, the reason why we're doing two layers is because we're going to add some cloud effects here and then we're going to blend it into the background. So, we're going to make sure our foreground color is set to black. Then, we're going to head over to filter, render, and then clouds. And then go ahead and deselect this. From here, we're going to head over to our blend modes and we're going to select overlay. Now, you can either select overlay or soft light, it's all personal preference. Now, the next thing you want to do is we're going to illuminate this entire planet. So, in order to do this, we're going to again create another new layer. We're going to head back to our elliptical marquee tool. We're going to draw a, another shape here, another circle, filling about not entirely the entire planet, but a decent portion. Then we're going to go ahead and right click, head over to fill, we're going to select white and click OK. Now I want it a little bit bigger, so in order to do this, all you have to do is hit control T, and then we can go ahead and just transform this and make it a little bit of a larger size so that it fills the entire planet, like so. Remember, we're going to head back to our eraser tool, and what we're going to do is gently erase away some of this inside portion, and what it's going to do is it'll give it a more of a illuminated effect. So I'm going to go ahead and just gently erase away some of these edges here. Now you want to leave this top right hand pretty uh, lightened up, but towards these, the back of the planet and the edges here, you want to make it um, pretty much disappear almost, just so that it's a little bit of the effect. So just going in, getting away some of these rough spots, and then creating the really nice lightened effect over here. Now again, it's not exactly the same shape, so again, we can just transform this. Now another cool way to transform this and get it almost perfect is after you hit control T, go into right click and head over to warp. And then we can customly go ahead and drag out these exact spots that we need to fill up. 
like so. Go ahead and put this at the top edge. And just dragging out all these other spots, like so. And then click enter. And there's a really nice illuminate effect. Now the last thing you want to do is obviously it looks like a planet, but not like a really good one. So what we're going to do is add our lens flare and add it up and make it really just stand out. Let's go ahead and back to our bottom layer. Again, create another new layer. We use our same shade of gradient as before. Make sure it's set on radial. And then we're going to head over to our center of our screen. We're going to drag out and then let go. From here, we're going to head over to filter, render, and then lens flare. I'm using the lens type of 105 millimeter prime. I'm using my brightness at about 121%. You want to make sure it's set pretty bright. I'm going to go ahead and drag it over to the top right hand of our screen so that um, it fills up that top right hand corner. And then we click OK. Like so. Now, next thing we do is uh, we have these little lighting bulbs here. So we're going to add a layer mask to this. And then we're going to select on our gradient. We're going to select linear. And then for our colors, we're going to select the regular uh, regular gradient that goes from black to white. And we're just head over to the bottom of our screen. And we're just going to click and drag up to the about middle of the planet and then let go. And there's a really cool planet effect. So we have the really nice illuminate effect here. Now, again, if it doesn't look exactly right on the, uh, the shading and the lightened effect, you can always transform these again and head back over to our warp tool and then just warp these down and get the exact look that you're going for. So I wasn't trying to be perfect on this one, just got pretty close. So there you go. And so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It's a really sweet way to create your very own planet. Uh, please remember to rate this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Rate it whatever you think it deserves. Uh, but other than that, guys, take it easy.